Hi, this is Kerry Garrison with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. And today we're going to go over working with titles in DaVinci Resolve 14. Now, pretty much everything I'm going to show you in this one, you can also do with DaVinci Resolve 12.5. So if that's what you're working with, all these title things are still going to work. I'm just using the uh, Beta 8 of 14 because it's faster. So we're going to start off with uh, what do we have in terms of titles. So from our toolbox, if we go to titles, we have left lower thirds, medium lower thirds, right lower thirds, scrolling, and text. So we'll just start at the top. We'll throw it down here, and you can see it creates a little title there on the left. If we click on it and make sure we're on inspector, we can change the text of it. So I'll change that and I'll put my title in here. And of course you can change all the fonts, the font facing colors. I really hate Times New Roman, so I don't want to look at it. I'm going to just change those to Tahoma. All right. So now we have a pretty basic, uh, starting title here and if that's all we wanted great we're in good shape but let's say we want to spice it up a little bit and we can do that with the background so i'm going to have the color being gray at the moment and all i have to do is adjust the height and i'll start seeing it come in now a lot of times it's not centered properly with the text so i'm going to kind of guess where i think it should be go over here to center and adjust it to fit right and then i'll adjust the width since it's a left lower thirds it's going to adjust to the left so that's the only position i have to worry about i'm going to reduce that corner radius so it's not quite as round and uh, i think we're in pretty good shape there so now we have a little more of a standout one now we can change the opacity of that background so we can actually make it black or line it up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go with kind of a, an in-between there. Now, next thing to do here is going to be to animate this a little bit. We want it to kind of move in and move out of the frame. So I'm gonna count over about um, 12 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm gonna put a marker. And I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to get to the first one and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and put a marker there. Oops, didn't mean to zoom it. I'll go back here and just say fit. Now, to animate this, I have kind of I want it to pop in, stay there, and then slide out. I'm going to go over to the video tab and I want to make these markers exactly where they're at. So I'm just going to hit the keyframe. So that it turns red, I'll go over here and set the keyframe over there. Now I'll go to the beginning and I will slide it off screen, uh, just barely off screen. So now when it comes in, it's going to go over and I want to go to the last frame. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to slide it just off frame there and now we have an animated left lower thirds pretty straightforward nothing too complicated there and we'll go to the next one so the, we're not going to do the right lower thirds because it's exactly the same as the left uh, we have the middle lower thirds so we can do something in here and this location is Castlewood Canyon, and it's in Castle Rock, Colorado. And so we can do uh, something a little bit different here. I'll go ahead and put a background on it to make it stand out a little bit more. So we'll pop open that height We'll adjust the centering of it. I'll bring that width in a little bit and now we can fade it. Let's fade this one in or out. Now two ways to do that is 
I can use the opacity handles and grab those so it fades in. Or a faster way is to go to our video transitions, grab a cross dissolve, drop it on each side, and now we fade in and fade out. Okay, really spectacular there, I know. <laughs> we'll go back to titles, and next we'll do scroll. So scrolling is exactly what you think it is. It's going to be scrolling text. So I'll just put in some text here and I'll repeat it a handful of times. Copy that. So this is going to be good for your credits, All right? So now if we go and look at this, we're going to scroll those credits. If I make this longer on here, it's going to slow it down. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Uh, what else can we do with this? Okay, again, we can change the font, the face, the size, the alignment. So I'll just align it to the center there. There's anchor points where you want it to be anchored to on the screen. The formatting, what color do you want it? Drop shadow. So let's give it uh, let's give it a little bit of a drop shadow there. To make it stand out from the background a little bit. And we can add the background. Now the background is gonna get a little funky. So I want you to kind of watch how this works because it's taking the center of it. So it doesn't adjust where the text starts and ends, unfortunately. That would just be way too cool. So what we can do is a couple different things here. We can just make the height the whole thing. So we just have a, a box where the titles are going to be. So that's one cool way of doing it. Another way is probably going to be to crop it. So I'm going to adjust that height down and I want to create a box that this stuff goes in. So I'm going to go to the video tab and I'm going to crop the top. Okay, you see it start cutting it off there. So I, I want it to just not crop the top there. And I'm going to do the same with the bottom. So just as soon as I see it move. Okay, now there we go. We've created kind of a Whoops, I kind of messed up on the top there. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Let's start that over. So that's one way of creating kind of a view box for your scrolling text. Make it a little, you know, kind of different here. And you can fade that in a little bit. Now what I would probably do is use a different box. I would probably create a box on there to do that with. So let's go ahead and do that. And what I'm gonna do is reset all of these things here, get rid of those, and I'll get rid of the background. So I'll just make that go away. Instead, we're gonna go and go to our generators and we'll create a solid color. Now with the solid color here, I'm going to crop it in and I'll just, I'll use the zoom controls. So I'll pull it in and I'll make the box around it and we'll change the opacity. So we've created kind of the same thing, right? The uh, same type of box here. And I'm going to go back to my text. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it over the top because I am going to go back and crop this a little bit more. So I'm going to crop from the top. See, I'm going to move it in a little bit so it doesn't hit, it doesn't stop right at the edge of the box. So I want to move this text up a little bit so I can kind of see where I'm at. I'll bring it in from the bottom there. And... 
yeah, let's let's do this. I'm going to crop it a little bit more. And I'll crop the bottom a little bit more. Now they should kind of fade in and fade out. Like that. So you can see, you can get kind of creative with the scrolling text by manipulating different layers and putting things in different places. Now, if you notice that text is kind of washed out, well, let's make it pop. I just have to change the layering of it, and now the white is on top and it makes it stand out even more. But it still has that fade in and fade out at the top and bottom. So there's our scrolling text. We'll go back to titles here. And the final one is simply text. So I drop that into place and it's just a single line of text. And it has all the same characteristics as the other ones. So I can you know, change the font and the positioning. It has the drop shadowing, stroking, background. So all the same things that I can do with the other ones. It's just a, a single text box. It doesn't have any special properties like automatically being centered or left or right justified. So you can have a little bit more control over that. In our next video, we're going to go into even more things that we can do to create better looking titles. But I wanted to give you kind of an overview of the title system within DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you enjoy these. Always provide feedback. Subscribe down in the links below. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and DJI Colorado, an authorized retail store in Lone Tree, Colorado. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.